I don't know how many more of these it's going to take for something to change. Um, you know, uh, I saw President Trump mention that um, it would have been, it, you know, it might have been stopped if there had been an armed guard at the, at the synagogue. And, um, you know, comments like that, I think, don't help in situations like this. God help us come together. America has to come together. The people in America itself are very, very fractured, and very uh, divisive. So we hope that after a tragedy like this, the people will come together and respect each other and tolerate each other. And there shouldn't be such animosity between ourselves here in the States. And uh, that will be a tremendous benefit for all of us. Now to that arrest tonight and that anti-Semitic vandalism spree in Brooklyn six days after that gun massacre at a temple in Pittsburgh. New York cops using surveillance video to identify and arrest a young man who they say is emotionally disturbed and nonverbal. Cops say he wrote vile words inside and a Nazi swastika outside the synagogue and set fires at other Jewish temples earlier today. Here in front of the Union Temple of Brooklyn, you can see an obvious police presence even as the suspect is now in custody. 26-year-old James Polite charged with making the vile graffiti at this synagogue along with setting a string of fires in the nearby Hasidic enclave of Williamsburg. And it was from there that police got a break in the form of this video which captured a man setting a fire early this morning. Local volunteer security forces helped police catch him, and it didn't take long for them to link him to the picture they had circulated about the graffiti at this synagogue, Union Temple off Grand Army Plaza, and now they say those two men are one and the same. Cops say Polite is the man who let himself into the Brooklyn Union Temple and plastered the walls with messages of hate. Jew better be ready, he wrote. End is now. Hitler. And insert oven here. We do not tolerate hate. We do not accept it in any form. We will never accept anti-Semitism in New York City. The mayor stopped by here to lend his support tonight. As for the suspect, Polite is his last name, James Polite. Sources say cops quickly identified him as emotionally disturbed, and he has for now been committed in a psychiatric unit at a nearby hospital. When he is deemed competent, he will face a variety, a whole litany of hate crimes charges related to all of these cases.